Hey everybody, welcome to the Muddy Reviews. Uh, today we are looking at the London Bridge uh, 330D Ultralight uh, 2500BZ Sling and Coyote Brown. Uh, so this isn't my sling, uh, this is actually a buddy of mine. He picked this up during the London Bridge sale and then uh, was like, yo man, you want to check this sling out and uh, review it? And I was like, hell yeah, I want to check that sling out and review it. Let me see it. So here it is and I'm reviewing it. <clears throat> First things first, it's a pretty sling. Um, it is light. They're not bullshitting. When they say ultra light, it's a light sling. It's not heavy at all. Um, I'm going to break his heart a little bit because I'm going to shit on it near the end. Um, but only a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm just going to shit on a little bit. Um, I like LBT. I'm going to be very straightforward and let you know I'm actually a little partial to LBT. I, I used to run a lot of LBT stuff uh, back in the day. I was issued a lot of LBT stuff and I'm... I'm not going to call myself a fanboy, but um, I tend to be a little biased. I tend to think of LBT as being very high quality, and I was a little disappointed in a little piece of the design element of this sling, and I'm kind of just puzzled as to what their thought process was, and I'm going to show you that in a moment. But first, we're going to talk about this. So this is the pad. Sorry for the chihuahua in the background. Um, this is a two inch pad. It's made of 330D, uh, Cordura. Honestly, I can't tell the difference between this and 500 and it feels about the same. It may be because it's on a pad is why it feels like 500 to me, but it does. I, I really thought this was 500 when I first got my hands on it, but it is 330. Sewing is really good. Um, nice stitching. The, um, tensions are good on all the stitches. It's not all gross and fuckery and weird, and I and I like that. Uh, so this is the back end of the sling. So you got the one inch coming out of the back end of the actual pad, and then it goes to a triglide here, and then so this comes off. This is just a elastic piece. It is a dampener uh, for the HK hook. Uh, they use quality HK hooks. These are really nice. Good string tension on them. They snap back really well. It's not a bunch of cheap crappy ones uh, like I've seen on other slings I was looking to see if they had any ITW logos on them I don't see those so I don't know if they're ITW but uh, they are still of high quality and they are good as you can see like I said it is a tri-glide here and that's how you make your adjustments for length of the sling so let's say you wanted to make this guy just a little shorter You just pull the pull the length you want, put it back through the triglide. Boom. Very simple, easy to do, nothing crazy. And then what I would end up doing is tape, like getting some uh, 90 mile an hour tape or um, fabric tape of some type, like the uh, McNett, uh, um, what's that shit called? I reviewed it on the channel. Is that like cool camouflage fabric tape get some of that like in if they have it in brown if not just get it like multi cameras or digital desert or whatever and wrap these pieces up so you don't have a bunch of like loose dangly pieces because nobody likes loose dangly pieces again uh the elastic here to as a little dampener and quieter uh for these hooks because they can be kind of loud when they're slapping around on a, a gun especially a metal gun uh moving around to the front of the actual pad like I said, pad's nice. Uh, one inch webbing. I thought this was solution dyed. Uh, they call this uh, type four webbing. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, I'm assuming it's something special. Maybe it means it's IR treated and compliant, uh, but it is nice. It's not super shiny and it is coyote brown. Underneath here, you've got the LBT Red Lion and you've also got the LBT uh, model part number, which is the 2500 Bravo Zulu. Hey, Bravo Zulu. What do you say in the Navy when you tell somebody, good job. Uh, terminates into a nice little box stitch here. Boom, boom. And it's actually a really nice box stitch. And then that goes to the back end of this uh, metal clasper here. This is that like Alice style like pole piece that you would have on like a ruck. Uh, they've been using these on slings a lot and uh, they're really great. I actually like these quite a bit. 
and then you have the front end of the sling, which is the rest of the sling, and then it kind of loops back in through itself, and then comes out uh, to this toggle right here, which is on some one inch, one wrap. I'll get to that in a moment. Uh, out of here, you've got some standard cordage, looks like some um, hollowed out 550 that they just looped through here, overhead on at the end, and then burned it. Very simple, but that's also great that it's simple because it's an easy fix in the field if you were to break it or it was to get all screwed up and you can change it out, no muss, no fuss. Going forward, like I said, uh, this piece here uh, terminates into some Velcro one wrap and that comes separated like that. And we're about to get into the part I don't like. Um, you got the same as the back end, tri-glide for adjustment and then you've got the HK hook and the silencer. This is not the part I don't like. This is the part I don't like. So you've got this on your gun, right? Boom, and you wanna pull it out, give yourself some slack. Pull back, awesome, good job. You got it all slacked out. That's easy, that's cool, I, I like this. What I don't like is this. So if I wanna go this direction, back towards my weapon, it is strange as hell. So I gotta get like hook my thumb in here or some shit and pull it forward, or I gotta like, You know, damn. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I got to get like my hand under here and like pull it like like a separate piece almost. Sorry, I'm awkward handed right now. Uh, and pull it like that. That's weird as hell to me too. I'm like, what is that all about? I don't understand. Or I need to bust the one wrap open and then grab this like a pull tab and a toggle and yank forward. And then now you've got this like loosey goosey sloppy dick piece thing going on, and no nobody likes that. Nobody wants that shit. So that's weird as fuck to me. And I don't understand why they didn't just do like this. So you know you got this little toggle piece, whatever. Like on this uh, gr g g b r s sling. You know there's pull it back, pull it forward. It's just this little grip. It's just grip. This toggle. Most slings have that. I don't know why the LBT didn't do that. It's really strange to me, and I I, I kind of call it a design flaw. Uh, maybe I'm just not seeing the forest through the trees, and somebody out there is gonna be like, "Muddy, this is why." Blah blah blah, and you're just a fucking moron. And I will take that criticism all day long, but I don't I don't I don't dig it, and I wouldn't run it. But enough of me grabbing. I'm gonna show you. This thing on an AEG, so this is a G36. I'm gonna pull this out because it's got fancy HK hook points because it's an HK. And we'll put this on here real quick just to kind of show you what it looks like on a weapon. And I'll harp on why I hate this fucking front of this sling again. Once it's on here, burp, burp. Hear all that noise? Ah, it's so loud. Oh, so much more quieter. That's why those are on there. Got this shit backwards and why? Here we go. And now it's on and correct. There we go. It looks good on here. I don't know. People hate on Coyote Brown. I like Coyote Brown. I think she looks really good. So this is it on the AEG. Doesn't look bad to me. But again, like I was pointing out a few seconds ago, um, I'm going to beat a dead horse for a second, and then I will shut the fuck up, because this is already a like eight minute video, but still, I want to loosen it, oh, it's all loose, it's cool, but if I want to tighten it, it's just fucking weird, it doesn't make sense, you got to like get your hand under here and do this holy shit, that's just, bleh, bleh. I don't like it, anyway, but this is what it looks like on the AG. Um, not a horrible sling, but... I will say I'm glad he got it on sale. I'll put it that way. Um, I would modify it right out the gate. I'm telling you, I would do some crazy shit to this thing. I would probably like add some cordage in here maybe or something to help kind of make a toggle or I, I don't fucking know. But it's definitely weird and I don't know if it's worth the money that it would be spent on it because I believe it's of like a $50 sling. And there's slings in the same vein uh, that I would probably just buy that I feel are just more um, user-friendly and simple to operate. So, 
that's my two cents, guys. Thanks for watching. It's kind of a long video. I'm talking about a sling, but I had a lot to say about it because um, I, I expected more from LBT, and I don't know. I feel like they kind of swung and missed on this one. I hope this video was useful for some of you guys, and to my buddy, I hope I didn't uh, shit all over your, your new sling too much and crush your dreams, but um, I hope you enjoy it, because and thanks for letting me review it. You are a uh, gentleman and a scholar. As always, uh, thanks to my, all my new subs for checking me out and all my old subs for sticking with me. You guys are rock stars. Uh, get out there, play some Airsoft, uh, be a bunch of fucking BB uh, nerds and BB War Kings, LARP hard, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.